Hello and welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about how to exit some interactive programs the fastest way. Uh, and this is a little pro tip that I wish I would have known sooner, but now I'm passing that uh, extra bit of knowledge along to you guys. So let's let's jump into it. Okay, so if you've worked with interactive programs in a terminal before, you'll notice that they all kind of have their own special way of exiting. Uh, which is a little bit annoying. So for instance, like if you're in bash, which looks just the same because it's, you know, a subshell, uh, you can exit bash by typing exit and pressing enter. If you're in Python, oh, I forgot to actually have a, a little hacky thing in my um, Python that starts up and actually makes this a little bit easier, but we'll unset that for a second. Uh, but in Python, or Python 3, to exit, you can't just type exit. It gives you this annoying, use exit print print or, um, well, spoilers, this is <laughs> kind of a spoiler for the rest of this, but uh, in Python, you have to do exit print print. Um, in SQLite, it's even weirder, uh, SQLite 3. Uh, you can't just type exit because it's expecting that to be some sort of query and that's a syntax error, but you actually type dot quit <laughs> in SQLite, which is a little bit strange. Um, I don't even know the one for Node.js. Uh, is it just exit, exit? <laughs> process.exit, <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, but as you can see, there's a bunch of different ways to exit these interactive REPLs, which actually I don't even know what REPL stands for, but um, I would probably just Google it and figure it out. But anyway, there's a bunch of different ways to exit these, and I'm here to show you that there is a faster way, um, <laughs> which, which Python has already given away. Um, but if you do control D, that sends end of file to the process, and almost all of these uh, interactive prompt sort of thingies uh, we'll handle control D as exit. So like, for instance, if I open up, if I open up exit, if I open up bash, uh, let's do it with sh so it looks different at least. Um, and I do control D, which uh, I guess I could show my keyboard and then you guys could see that. Let me enable that really quickly, activate, cool. Um, yeah, so if I do control, uh, where's the D? <laughs> right here. Um, oops. Oh, what did I do? Oh no, I moved this. Okay, <laughs> that was control D in there. Uh, if I control D here, you'll see that it exited the subshell. If we're in Python, Python 3, of course, uh, and you do control D, that also exits Python 3. We don't, we no longer need to do that weird thing in SQLite. We can just do control D. If we're in node, of course, we don't need to process.exit. You can just control D. But anyway, that's it. That's the tip for today. Uh, control D is the fast way to exit interactive things. Um, but thank you for watching. If you guys have additional questions, leave them below in the comments or reach out to me on Twitch or whatever. Uh, but thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.